You know, there's a lot of different products I use to increase my opportunities in the field. However, I don't think there's a single one that provides me more success or more opportunity than an aerial image. Why don't we join the Whitetail Properties hunting team as they explain why an aerial map is such a valuable tool. A good way to use maps is to be able to tell what kind of terrain is on a farm. Whether it be locating timber ridges, saddles, funnels, crop field edges, water sources, or ditches, all of these are key components to holding deer and hunting them. I use aerial maps to determine the best way to access my stand sites for different wind directions. This allows me to minimize the likelihood of educating deer on my way in or out. The last thing I want is for the deer to know they're being hunted. Now with today's high quality digital imagery available, I'll start my scouting from behind a computer screen instead of getting on the farm. You know, days in the past, I'd have an aerial photo printed off from the FSA office. I'd be stomping around my boots, wasting a bunch of time. Now, I can take that time, cut it in half, and I start by looking at those high quality images, and I can pick those spots where I want to put food plots or cameras. So when I'm there at the farm, I'm not wandering around wondering where I need to start and start looking for sign, because nine out of 10 times when I step foot on the farm, and I've already predetermined those spots from the images, that is where I end up putting trail cameras or putting food plots, and that's where I end up keying in on a lot of my scouting. Then it, it cuts down on a lot of just wasted boot time, I call it. When going in to hunt a new farm, if you have aerial photos or maps that you can go over beforehand, it can put you at a huge advantage. It'll give you four or five, maybe six locations sometimes on a farm that you can go ahead and check that look like what would be hot spots from your area. It'll also save you time to keep you from having to walk the whole farm. You also can see on the neighbors, there could be big blocks of cover or agriculture sources that can make a difference in your hunt. Okay, so the guys have covered several aspects of how to utilize maps to increase your success in the field. We hope this has been of value to you and wish you the best of luck this fall.